Hello and welcome to the Cave of Wonders. With me today is guest host celebrity star Justice Beaver. Say hello. Um, well, there's actually no one here. So welcome back. We're in Mount Stratus and uh, we got our badges back last time from the Despicable Pikachu. Look at that third badge. It's just a square. I like the, I like the fourth one. It's a little flower. Leaf likes to put his nice touches on things. So uh, anyway, now that we got our badges back, we should be able to rock smash this. And we can, so Rivet is gonna do that, and we're gonna move on through the rest of Mount Stratus. What did I make the video title last time? I, I made some pun on Mount Stratus. Stratus, Stratus, Mount Stratus Blotion, Stratus Explosive. I, I don't remember actually, but something like that. Um, it looks like the exit is actually just right there, but there are some other areas we can go to, like down here. If we can rock smash through like 20 billion rocks. And look at that, there's, okay, that's that shortcut actually. Um, that will lead you back over to like the beginning of the game somewhere. I do remember that, at least I think. Anyway, um, I guess we're gonna head out of here. There was another ladder over this way, so that's kind of strange. It's like, let me just put 20 million rock smash rocks and then a TM that you don't have yet and you probably won't get until the very end of the game, which is rock climb. Um, so the music kind of changed up here. I believe we do have strength, so let's use that. And we're gonna have a little bit of a puzzle here, it looks like. Not really. Just push the boulder straight up, and a rare candy is our reward for all that. Looks like there's an item here, but I guess not. Um, that, okay, rock. You literally reset after, like, I, I looked away for, like, one second to get that rare candy, and the rock already resets, so that's cool. How do we actually move this one though? I guess we can only do it from the other side, so that's a little strange. Alright, so that's it for Mount Stratus. Let's get out of here and move on to the next town, which I believe will be Snowy. Yeah! Look at that! The Icebound Chasm. I've been talking about this place for a little bit, and I'm very excited to get in here because, well, it's, it's all icy, and I really like ice areas, and snow in general. I'm a big fan of snow. I kind of want to go over to somewhere where it's snowing. I may actually go somewhere where it's snowing soon, I don't know. I'm a big fan of snow and I kind of want to experience it this year and PAX isn't all the way till April so I don't exactly know if it'll be snowing by that point. Uh, but last year it was snowing but that's because it was, well PAX was in like late February which is really strange that this year, well actually I don't know when PAX was last year. Last year. I think it might have been in like March and it was still snowing. So maybe that's a little bit of a far stretch there, so I don't know, I'm probably gonna go somewhere where it is snowing before it stops, because I'm a big fan. Um, that guy, we could have made him go one step further down and then we would have been able to get that item, but unfortunately not. Pyloswan is his Pokemon, as we're gonna send out Simba. Um, I actually need to heal up, which is unfortunate. Let's send out Ribbit. You know, he's got a uh, good fighting move there in Rock Smash. He's gonna do tons of damage. I suppose we could also go for the Poison Fang. There we go, that's doing some good damage. Good job, Odor Sleuth. There we go. And he's gonna take himself out. A Mamoswine now for this guy. Whoa! Okay, I really wish I had a... What's his face right now? That would be pretty good. Um, Because we're about to get our butt kicked. Grover could actually help out in this battle with this being, you know, half ground type. But... Oh god, he's only level 25, so, uh, no grass moves, of course, of, of course, this would happen to us, okay, well, Eevee, it's all up to you, buddy, you got this, or not, good job, once again, we are defeated for, like, the seventh time in Pokemon Glaze, go ahead and leave your comments, um, about how much I suck, I'm sure those won't hurt, well, on the search for a different Pokemon, I ended up finding a Gibble, which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know if I'll use it, but hey, it's here in the Geminite River, and I guess we'll go ahead and give it a nickname. His nickname's gonna be Gunther, because we saw that name and I found it funny, so we're gonna name this guy that. Because I don't know where the nickname Raider is. He seems to just not be here, so yeah. And the Pokemon I was actually looking for, Glau... Growlithe actually shows up. Uh, I don't want to kill it though, so I don't really know what move I'm gonna go for here. I only have one Ultra Ball and one Pokeball, so Grover, do your best, and by that I mean get burned apparently. Um, pursuit that, and quick attack that, and quick attack one more, one more time. There we go. Okay, now we 
should be able to catch it. It's pretty low. Um, I'm gonna try and catch this Growlithe. Someone actually told me this was here. I think a couple of people wanted me to use one, and I don't think I've ever actually used a Growlithe. So let's see if we can catch this. Yeah! Alright, we got a Growlithe. That's cool. I actually got a, a great nickname in mind. Um, I have a friend that is actually his favorite Pokemon is Growlithe, or rather Arcanine, so we're gonna name it after him. Um, so I don't want to use his name, so we're gonna name it Chang, because that's an Asian name, and he's Asian. So we're back in the Icebound Chasm here. Uh, I'm actually gonna give you guys a little update. We got Gunther and Chang in our team now. I'm gonna check up his moves though because, oh okay, he's got Ember at least, so he's got one fire move there. I've also given him the EXP share and put Rivet up first. Actually, Rivet doesn't have any good fighting moves, so he can't really do very much against Ice types. However, Finn does have Water Guns, so that should be able to take care of Swine and Mamoswines alike. And I, got, I like that I got a second chance there to move the guy further down, but I still failed to do so. Well... Either way, let's see how Water Gun fares against the mighty Pyloswine here. Actually, we're not doing too much damage, but enough to take him down. I feel like this is still going to be tough, though, this Mamoswine here. Yeah, he's doing... Whoa! Well, never mind. A third Pyloswine, or well, his third Pokemon is a Pyloswine, rather, and we continue to be hit by that Hailstorm. So there we go. We kill each other. Chang gets some EXP. That guy kind of looks like a Chang. He had, like... Never mind. Never mind. Okay, um, how are we supposed to get up there now? I don't know. I don't. I think we failed to get that item now, just because. I mean, I suppose we could rematch him, but uh, yeah, that's the thing. A lot of trainers rematch you, and I keep forgetting about that. So anyway, let's check out what is in this route to start us off. We got a Snow Run. That's a really cool Pokemon, actually. I don't know if Frostlass is in this game though. If Frostlass is in this game, someone let me know, and I will. Or I will consider using Snow Run because I'm not a big fan of Glalie, but I am a big fan of Frostlass, and uh, I think a Ghost type would be kind of cool on this team. Actually, we don't have anything like Ghost Dark Psychic ish yet. We do have a Fighting type, but I don't know. That one's not really part of that trifecta of special attacking monsters there. So it'd be kind of cool to have a Ghost type there. And yes, Frostlass is in this game. So thank you all for the comments. I really appreciate it. And look at that. A few seconds later, we actually find out ourselves. So that's interesting. Uh, Shadow Tag, very fun ability there. And we are mobilized by love. So real fun stuff here with that Shadow Tag plus Charm combo. At least we put it paralyzed. And there we go. We actually hit it. Um, I'm wondering what the ratio of like the cute charm or, or what the attract what what move did he use that made us I guess the attract is the move he used what is the ratio of that is it like 50 50 or I feel like it's a lot more than 50 50 no two snowflakes are alike the same is true for Pokemon I don't know if that's necessarily true I know that EVs and all that stuff are supposed to be made so that you know no two Pokemon are the same but uh Technically, you could have two Pokemon that are very much the same. If you just, you know, breed them correctly, you can have two Pokemon that are one and the same. Have you tried skiing yet? Um, not too sure about that. I didn't even know that existed here. Let's go on a ski vacation, they said. I wish we took a trip to the Palm Tree Resort instead. That does sound a little bit better. Palm Tree Resort sounds a little bit better than this area. I don't know, man. I'm a little tired of, like, palm trees and tropical areas. I'm sure I've gone on about that a little too long um hey this guy wants to give us a glaceon that's interesting so a random glaceon that we can get there or that lady i guess it wasn't really a guy what's up with you mr hiker if you go skiing make sure to hit the ramps you'll fly far wonder if we can actually get some skis in this um i haven't had a bike yet so i'm assuming that maybe in this game we can actually get some skis instead or perhaps that's how the whole oh okay so these guys like keep on rematching you so I suppose that's actually how we get over up to that area so that's interesting um unfortunately I don't know if we'll be able to take this guy down let's go for the keep on rock smashing because as you guys know rock smash is way better than poison fang um I just proved that there clearly why did I just use that attack my bad okay frost last um I have a feeling that we're gonna lose this battle here Chang is only level 23. I mean, he does have Ember, but let's be honest here. Yeah, Gunther, let's go. You got this, man. Uh, Dragon Rage. Or, oh, okay. Well, 
Apparently we didn't go to the Pokemon Center. So, we're back here. Boom! Third time. You gotta be kidding me. I swear I saw myself in this tile here. And I, I don't know, I guess my perception was wrong, but I could have sworn I got him lured so that I could get up there, but I guess not. Uh, so we gotta take on Frostlast Boy once again. And there we go. At least that one, you know, we'll, we'll get him in the right place. Uh, well, we finally get to see what's up here and if that was worth it. Oh boy, it's a nugget. I think we've got two of those now. Uh, we're gonna go fight Mamoswine Boy again, just because I want to see what that item is. But before any of that, we definitely got to go heal up, because otherwise we're gonna end up back in Gemini Town for the fifth time. We did it! And now we can go get the very worthwhile Hyper Potion. Oh man, at least we got some levels out of that. Uh, I guess that's sort of worth it. Hey man, don't battle me again, please. Uh, so someone in the Pokemon Center actually said something about a ski resort somewhere that they have contests where you can go down the mountain and apparently here's the gym already. Irene is an aspiring figure skater and she's a tough ice type trainer. I can't challenge her, I'm not ready yet. Neither are we, we're gonna need to do some extensive trainer training to Chang and finally we have the nickname raider here. So if you guys would like to, please leave a nickname suggestion for Swello. Um, I guess I'll fix up Ribbit next episode as well, because I apparently spelled that wrong and I'm dumb. So, uh, yeah, if you have any nickname suggestions for Swello, leave them down in the comments, as well as any other suggestions that you might have. I guess this is a museum here, which is kind of interesting. Hey, look at that Aerodactyl and Kabutops. Welcome to the North Coast Museum, where you can revive fossils right here. Hey, I do have some fossils. We have a bunch of fossil Pokemon, actually, so if you would like me to use any fossils, uh, let me know that as well, and uh, I think I might end up replacing one of our team members here. I don't know which one. Finn is pretty good, uh, but I don't know if I'm going to keep Swampert forever. Simba's also pretty good, but I don't know. I don't know, it just seems like uh, we can get some cool Pokemon here as well. It would probably not be very good though because they'll be low level, but uh, Snowrunt is definitely a cool addition instead of Gunther the Garchomp because he's going to take a while to level up anyway. Was it Gunther? I think he's Gunther. Yeah, he is Gunther, so... Anyway, let's wrap up exploring North Coast Town here. I mean, I see the north part. I don't really see the coast. Maybe it's over here. Or we have the blizzard slopes. That's okay, too. You know, some more snow sounds good to me. We got a ferret in here. That's kind of cool, actually. Let's see what other Pokemon are lurking around in the grasses of the blizzard slopes. Smoochum, not a big fan. You guys know uh, I don't really like Jinx, so uh, naturally I don't really like Smoochum. Even though I guess it, it's got the cute factor there. So let's go ahead and catch this snow runt here just in case we do want to use that later on to become Frostlass. And if it is going to be a Frostlass, I think it has to be a female, doesn't it? I don't remember how Frostlass evolves, actually. Hmm. I'm not sure. Alright, we have the nickname Raider right there anyway, so uh, I'll go and check that out. I think Frostlass can only be a girl because that's why it's named Lass. And then I think you use like a Dusk Stone or a Dawn Stone on it. One of those two, something like that. Who really knows? I don't. You guys probably do. Because, uh, I just don't, I don't remember right now, actually. But, uh, I'm pretty sure that it has to be a female. Because why would it be Frostlass otherwise? Um, but then you can have a female Glalie as well, which makes it a little weird. But, uh, it looks like here we can take a, a ski ride up, or rather a lift up to the ski place, where apparently we can rent some shoes up on the mountain. I did see someone said that. Let's find out. I think it might be that lady over there. Some people try and see who can go down the mountain the fastest. I want to try and get first place. Well... I guess we'll go ahead and challenge that. Um, this, uh, there's a Nurse Joy as well as a Not Nurse Joy who can rent you some skis. Have fun at the North Coast Ski Lodge. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Very nice. So here we have the Ski Lodge. Mr. Fatty over here is just like, uh, not doing anything. I don't know. What is this down here? Whoa. What? Oh, so I guess this like automatically takes you back up if you fail. Alright, well, we gotta put on the skis. You can only ski the mountain with those skis. So let's put those on. Apparently they're rented, but there are key items, so I'm not sure about that. Let's go ahead and put them on. A little bit like Pokemon X and Y here, we got them skis on instead of the skates, but uh, either way, you know, they go on both, both, uh, whatever. So I guess this is pretty much just like the cycling road from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, as there are actually wild frost lasses here. That's interesting, because, you know, 
considering I want a Frost Lash. I should have just tried and catch that one, but uh, it was level 20, so I don't know. I guess here we're actually supposed to try and go fast rather than how many steps we take. I don't know how the one for Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald ever worked. And Glalie's as well in here, which is a little crazy there. Um, so we failed that. I guess it works... Didn't we do something like this earlier where we had to take a certain number of steps to get down the slope? Yeah, look at that. We jumped on that tree like it was nothing. All right, so we're going to go down this way. Whoa, what a big jump there. Your time was 44 seconds. Amazing. My rating for this is C. Just need to try a little harder. Well, we're going to go try a little harder. Let's go try again. Go back up the slope. That's pretty cool, actually. I like this. I like this little challenge here. Unfortunately, I didn't pay any attention at all to which way we're supposed to go. So, uh, yeah, let's go again and uh, see if we do any better. I think it's this way. Yep. Oh, no. We ran into another boss last. Let's see if we can catch this one. Um, let's see. Uh, great ball. Do that. And nope. And nope. One more try. Come on. Oh, come on. All right. Well, we have one great ball left. We might as well try and use it. Watch us catch it with the... Pokeball somehow. Wow. What a showing here. Let's Thunder Wave that and see if this Pokeball will catch it. Probably not. Oh my goodness. It, it shook three times. I was actually very, very hoping that it would catch it there. But nope. Just wanting to shake three times, get my hopes up, and then not do it. But at least Chang grows a level, which is cool. So let's go ahead and hop down this and yeah! Keep on going down the mountain. I'm not very good at controlling the skis here. Your time was way worse than before. I don't know if the time there for the battle actually was accounted for. I'm pretty sure it was considering that it was longer than before and I felt like we didn't really take longer. Um, so let's do one more and I guess we'll have to get some more Pokeballs at some point. Jesus, I suck at this. Okay, well I just totally messed that up and we have a Glalie. At least it wasn't another Frostlass. Um, are you kidding me? Absol? Okay. That's interesting. Alright, there we go. And go ahead and all the way down. That should be pretty good. Probably like 30 seconds-ish. 23 seconds, whoa. Alright, there we go. We win the third place price. Prize, a big pearl. Um, I really want to get the first place, pl first place prize. Too many L's and R's, man. I'm getting confused right now. You know what? Let's try it one more time. I think we can do it. I am using an analog stick right now on like an Xbox controller, so it's a little bit harder to control than I guess it would be on a GBA pad, but, oh, come on, jinx, jinx, alright, there we go, oh, come on, I suck at this, I'm so bad, there we go, it's probably like 20 seconds-ish, 17, yeah, spectacular, second place prize, a nugget, I guess we can't get the first place, we're just not good enough. I'm assuming that if we don't run into any wild Pokemon grass, we'd be able to do it. But I'm just not good enough to do that, so let's see if I can do it this time. <clears throat> Actually, I got a good idea. Let's go ahead and do this. Spray a Repel. Isn't that genius? I'm such a genius sometimes, man. Usually I'm not, but uh, when I am, I am very genius if I do say so myself. Well, why wouldn't I say so myself? I'm not very smart, actually, but that was a pretty good plan. Uh, now we won't run into any wild Pokemon, which means we can super surf down this and uh, 14 seconds. Yeah, fantastic. A plus, you win the first prize, a trade stone, which I'm assuming can evolve traded Pokemon or Pokemon that you would normally evolve by trade. You can use the trade stone to evolve them. And with that, we have completed this episode of Pokemon Glaze. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like as well as leave any of those suggestions that I said earlier. That would be awesome. Thank you guys again for watching and see you guys next time.